guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will look at check if a word occurs as a prefix of any word in a sentence which is from lead code number 1455 a prerequisite before watching this is to watch my video on try so the link for this will be in the i button and also in the description below this is a very good problem to get started with try as well now let's look at the problem statement in this problem given a sentence that consists of some words separated by a single space and a search word check if the search word is a prefix of any word in the given sentence return the index of the word in the sentence and the index is one based where the search word is a prefix of this word if search word is a prefix of more than one word return the index of the first word which will be the minimum index if there is no such word we need to return minus one let's look at an example now in this case let's say that our string is deep tech tech dose tech and dose all of these words are separated by just a single space okay there will always be a single space separating each of the word now in this case there will be certain search word which is given let's say it is tech our goal here is to return the first index of the word where the search word is a prefix of the word in the given sentence so in this case if you just go from left to right you check word by word deep and tech compare them is tech a prefix of deep no is tech a prefix of tech yes now the tech is a prefix of this tech at index 2 at index 3 and at index 4 as well because tech is a prefix in tech dose tech is a prefix in this tech as well right so there are three options for us 2 3 and 4 now in this case the minimum is 2 and therefore the answer will be 2 right if you look at the next search word which is teach now if you match it with all of these words from 1 to 5 none of these words will contain teach as a prefix so in this case the search word is not present as a prefix of any of the word in the given sentence and that is why we need to return minus 1 if you want to solve this problem then what you can do is take out each of the word one by one you can just keep a simple uh, pointer and you just keep moving from left to right now you can just extract this word and match if teach is actually occurring as a prefix in the deep if it is not not occurring then you can just pick the next word and again compare this teach and 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 this tech as well right so this will be a linear time algorithm so this will definitely work because the constraints are very small so the first step was to extract each of the word and then you compare each word one after another with the search word and compare for the prefix you can use two pointer to solve this as well and this works but this problem is a very good problem to get started with try so i hope you have already seen my video in this case our uh, given string is let's say dose tech tech dose and tech our structure of the try node will be it will store the index of the word that means the first occurrence of the index right so if I have tech two times, then this is index one, this is index two, three and four. So if I store tech, then I will always be storing index two for tech. Okay. And I will be uh, using a map. Basically, this will be an unordered map, right? I will not take an ordered map in this case. And I will have a child pointer. So simply, this is the structure of the node where I'll be storing the index as well as I'll be using a KV pair where the uh, key is the character. What is the next character? And the value is the next node that means i'll be making the tree structure let me now make it and show it to you so let's try to extract the first word okay the first word is dose so i have to insert it into the try how do i do this i will be always going to the root node so this root node will always be present by default now i will be doing try insert on this dose and i will send an index one as the parameter so whenever i insert i will be inserting character by character and what I'll do is I, I'll, I'll store D here and the index value will be equals to 1. Right. And the next character is O. So from here I will have a pointer to O. So here the next character and, and the index value will be equals to 1. Again the next character is S. So from here I will have a pointer to S and the index value will be equals to 1. Next character is E. So I will have an E. And here the index value will be equals to 1. Right. So why I'm storing all these index values equals to one because next time if somebody is giving me a search word of let's say do then I will just start traversing from the root node I will be searching for do and I will stop here and I can see the index simply and return that okay you know this do is a prefix in a word occurring at index number one okay now let's try to insert the next word which is uh, tech so if you do that 
then t with the index what is the index it is 2 so t e with index 2 c with index 2 and h with index 2 as well okay will be inserted now whenever i made a new node then only i will be inserting the index if this node is already existing then i will not overwrite it now let's uh, see this in the tech dos if i'm trying to insert tech dos i will again start at the root node and i will start at t so if i try to insert it i already have a pointer to t this means a node t already exists and the index value is 2 so i will not be overwriting this to 3 because let's say we had just uh, three words dos tech and tech dos now if somebody is giving me a search word of te then i will be searching from the root node te i will stop here and i should return answer as 2 that means te is occurring as a prefix in word present at index 2 which is actually the leftmost index if you look at index 3 it is it is also present here but it is not the leftmost word right so that is why i will not be overwriting so i can just traverse tech and i will be at this point and from here i will have to insert dose so from here when i make a new node of d then i will be writing index 3 which is the current index and then from here i have to insert o with current index then s with current index 3 and e with the current index 3 now if i was given a search word of let's say tech d then i will be stopping at this d and i can just return 3 that means tech d occurs as a prefix first time in the leftmost word at index 3 okay now once this insertion is done let's insert this tech again if you try to insert this tech i can just flow t e c h all these are already inserted so no new node will be made and therefore there will be no change to the index value as well right now let's say my search word my search word is equals to uh, let's say tech okay so tech is my search word now i will be starting right from the beginning okay so i will be starting here at the root node and then i will be going to the first character which is t okay so i went to t i will go to e i'll go to e fine i'll go to c okay c is also present then h h is also present so what is the index it is 2 so 2 will be returned as an answer here okay now let's say that i was searching for teh then i will again start at the root node and i will go to t e but then after this there is no pointer to h you will always be checking each character in the kv pair in the map that i will be showing you in the code if the character itself is not present in the key then that entry is not present and so this search string itself is not present as a prefix okay so that is how we will be solving it as you can understand that inserting this entire sentence will be order of m where m is the sentence length and then if the search word is of length n then uh, we have to search this uh, word in the try which will be linear time again therefore the time complexity will be order of m plus n and the space complexity will be order of m as well which is for building the try okay let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code this is our try node where i have taken the index and i have taken a map which is unordered in this case the key is the character and the value is the next node to which it will be pointing to and i am pre-creating uh, the root node okay once this is created then i'll be going to the main function you can see that it is the prefix of word now wh whenever the sentence is given then i'll be finding the size of sentence i will be extracting each word one after another the separator for each of the word is a space so whenever i encounter a space i know that the new word has started so i can just uh, save the entire word and i can use try insert to insert the word I will always be sending the index so i'll always start index with one as it was said that the ind indices are one based right and after inserting a word i'll do index plus plus every time once all the words from the sentence have been inserted after that i'll be calling the try search with the word to be searched okay now let's look at both the apis quickly if you look at them uh, it will be extremely similar you look at the try insert in this case the word is given with the index 
I'll be starting at the root node taking the current pointer and then I'll be going one character after another in the given word. If I see that the key that means if we are at a node and the pointer is actually not present to the next node that means the key entry is not present then I will create a new try node and then I will I will assign it to the pointer and then I will assign the new index value to whatever I was actually passed here right because I'm making the new node for the first time and then I will descend my current value will descend from the node to the child node and then I will proceed one after another one character after another right so this is how we do try insert and then if you look at try search then given a word you have to search this into the try I will always start at the root node and then I will go character by character descending if I see that at some point the pointer is present but then the uh, node is null here that means the node itself is not present then I'll be returning minus one because the given string is not pr present as a prefix in the entire try and so the result should be minus one right otherwise if I can traverse then I will finally return the index of the last node where we stopped okay if you already knew try then this will be just a practice for you if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you